and North Vietnamese artillery positions in Cambodia again open up on a Green Beret base in South Vietnam. Details on these and other stories coming up. Also in the next half hour, Steve Flanders on methods for getting rid of garbage. A report on an inventor who finds success in a backward way. While McElroy on Southampton residents who do something about the drug problem. And the chairman of the New York State Democratic Committee says his party's prospects in next year's elections are good. Joseph Kennedy is said to be very close to death. The 81-year-old father of the late President Kennedy and the late Senator Robert Kennedy is reported to have suffered a very serious setback. Cardinal Cushing, the spiritual advisor to the Kennedy family for years, gave this report. As yet, there has been no official word from Hyannisport about the senior Kennedy's condition. WCBS time, 25 minutes before 1 o'clock. The Apollo 12 astronauts have been making plans for the rocket burn that will put them in moon orbit. Commander Pete Conrad told Mission Control the spacemen have not been too busy and have found time to study astronomy, geography, geology, and a few other things. Conrad also talked with the commander of Apollo 10, Tom Stafford. They discussed briefly some of the sunrise. Conrad is connected. Nothing late afternoon when they were awakened to the flare of a bugle playing Reveille, beamed up to them by Mission Control. The names of hundreds of Vietnam War dead have been read in this is to be resumed in the morning. In memorial reading is the idea of Dr. John Talbot, Director of Community Psychiatry at St. Luke's Hospital. He says the reading of the names of the dead will go on day after day until the war ends. President Nixon's top communications aide, Herbert Klein, says anti-war demonstrations over the weekend were a setback to the administration's efforts to bring about an honorable end to the Vietnam War. Appearing on the CBS News broadcast, Face the Nation, Klein made it clear that the administration is in no mood to respond to the demands of the demonstrators that the U.S. get out of Vietnam now. Klein said the war will only be settled when there is a very prominent play of what he calls national unity. I'm confident that if we have greater and greater show of unity, the chances for winning the peace uh, increase because uh, they have to look from their own timetable. Is it worthwhile for them to await us out in the hope that uh, popular opinion will force the president to uh, retreat from uh, Vietnam without any further discussion? It has an effect on the negotiations. Uh, just looking at how they act, there's no question that it would speed the opportunity for peace. Herbert Klein, communications director for the White House. North Vietnamese artillery batteries in Cambodia have reopened a barrage against the Green Beret base at Bu Prang, and American and South Vietnamese jet fighters streaked across the border to attack them for the second time in two days. The commander of the South Vietnamese 23rd Infantry Division, Colonel Vo Van Can, said he had called for the second aerial strike into Cambodia and would continue to send Allied planes into the neighboring country until enemy guns were silenced. During his now famous speech last week, Vice President Agnew accused former peace negotiator Averill Harriman of making what Agnew calls military concessions at the Paris peace talks.